Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So today we're going to be doing something new called a listing teardown, right? So what I want to do is take a listing on Amazon. We're going to use amazon.co.uk, uh, usually from a big brand or a product that should be selling pretty well. I'm going to be breaking down why the listing isn't doing well or how it could perform better than it is. The idea of this is to show you what not to do in your listings so you know what to do and you'll get so many lessons from this outside of just building a listing. You'll learn about what products to sell, you'll learn about what customers respond to and you know all of the stuff in uh, your Amazon business kind of intertwined. Right? Marketing, like you can only have good marketing if you have a good product for example. Right, you can only have a good product if you have a good niche, for example. So all this stuff ties together, and hopefully uh, you'll learn uh, different skills from different elements of the business just from focusing on this listing today. So before we dive in, yes, I finally did it. Got a haircut. So relieved, my God. It was actually starting to drive me crazy having that much of a mop on my head. Right. So I went and got it cut uh, a couple of days ago. Turns out my hairdresser actually had COVID back in March, unfortunately. So, uh, thank God she's okay. But uh, yeah, crazy times, right? Anyway, let's dive into this listing. So before we before we break down what's wrong with this listing, uh, let's have a look at the elements of a listing we need to think about when we're creating a listing. Okay, what are the elements? So the main one is the title. Okay, as in this thing here, right? And the second element are the images. Now, these are the first two things we need to fix. And on any listing, this is usually the low hanging fruit. Know why? Well, because whenever we're looking for products on Amazon, right? I typed in water bottle. The title and the image are the first two things customers see. So this is like, they're the things that, that lead you to decide whether to click on the listing and check out the product or not. So you won't see any of the other stuff on the listing, um, you know, unless these two elements are well optimized. Okay, so they're the first two things we need to focus on. Then number three, bullets. Okay, so bullets are these things here. Okay. And then finally, description. And that can include, I kind of bundle that together with the A plus content, which is something you're only going to get if you have a trademark and if your brand is registered with the brand registry program. So that would be the stuff down here. Uh, this is the description. Uh, here, okay, this is the product description which everyone gets once you've registered your trademark registered your brand in the future You'll be able to do all this stuff with the pictures and the extra little bits of description here, okay? so Let's see what thermos has done wrong with this listing um, And see how we can improve it. So first thing to note is look they're not doing bad All right, they're not exactly uh, you know, failing with this product. That's the caveat I want to point out. Uh, they're doing £12,000 per month in sales with this product. Okay. Any guesses for why they're doing so well with their product, even though the listing is terrible? Because they're a well-known brand, right? If you're Thermos, really, you just have to say, this is a Thermos bottle and people will buy it. They've got so much recognition in the marketplace, it doesn't really matter that their listing isn't that great. They're making 12K a month in sales, probably about 2K a month profit, 3K a month profit with this product. Who knows, maybe more, because they could buy it in extreme volumes and they manufacture this thing themselves. You know, they're not suffering, they're not doing badly. But if this was your listing and you're an individual seller and you know you don't have a big brand and nobody knows who you are, it's just not gonna take off, right? Unless your product is extremely good, it's just not gonna take off. And the point really is, if Thermos were to improve this listing more, I'm sure they could add an extra eight or maybe 10K to the sales uh, of this product, 
just by tweaking this listing. So Thermos, if you're watching, you're welcome. Right, feel free to make these changes. Cool, let's start with the uh, title. So there's a few key elements we always wanna have in the title, always, right? Always, always, always. Number one uh, is the main keyword for the product that people are gonna be typing in to the search results, okay? To, to find the product, for example, just now, what did I type in when I was looking at water bottles? I typed in the words, water bottle, All right? That's what I typed in. So I would assume that's a very high volume keyword for this product. Obviously, that's what you would type in if you need a water bottle. They have that here in the title. Now, usually this keyword, you want it to be as near to the start of the title as you possibly can. All right, that's, that's ideally what we want, but I get it. They want to put their brand first, and I think Amazon makes you put your brand first anyway now. Um, so that's okay, right? And and everyone knows Thermos, and people might also type in Thermos anyway. Um, so that's good. That's cool. That's the first thing we want uh, on, on in our title. The second thing we always want in the, in the title is the thing that makes your product stand out among the crowd. What makes your product different to all the other products in the, in the marketplace? So if we look at water bottle as a niche. Okay, and we just scroll down this page. I don't know if this is the first page, but it's a page of the results. There's loads of different water bottles. What makes us want to click on Thermos's water bottle over, say, this one, for example? Well, one of the things that, that separates Thermos from all the other, the other bottles, uh, this particular design, uh, is the fact that they actually have a straw inside the bottle, right? So you, the idea is you flip up this little lid thing here uh, and there's an inbuilt straw in the bottle. So it makes it maybe a bit easier to drink the water, right? So it's quite an interesting design and that certainly will separate the product from um, from everybody else, right? So in terms of the, the key things to have in your title, the keyword and making it stand out with the thing that makes it different about the product, they must have done that pretty well. Um, the the only other thing I would add into the into this title is look, you've got two hundred characters for your title. All right, you've got two hundred characters. Um, if we go to a character counter, maybe we can see how many of those characters Thermos have actually used. I almost typed in a slightly bad word there <laughs> I was looking for this right let's have a look here we go here we go count the characters they've used 55 okay so they've got 145 more characters to use so there's lots of other information about this bottle that people might want to know at a glance when they're scrolling through the search results right there's, there's other things that they might want to know about this bottle they might they might want to know the size of it, for example. They might want to know the fact that it's got a handle. They might want to know the fact that it's plastic for a start. Might want to know it's ergonomically designed. Dishwasher safe. If you're looking for a water bottle to buy your kid and you've got 10 minutes to get this thing ordered because you're just busy and you're a parent and you're waiting for the kids, trying to put the kids to bed and you have to place this order for the water bottle, you know, now and you've got a limited time which is this is usually when people are buying things and not you know they're doing loads of stuff at once right you need all the information about the product to be upfront ready there at a glance so if you can put you know if if the parent looking for this bottle needs it to 100 percent be dishwasher safe and they're just looking through all these listings and there's you know on one of the titles here dishwasher safe on one of the bottles, that's probably the one they're going to click on. So by just having these little bits of information on your title, you will get more clicks on your product. And what do clicks lead to? They lead to sales, right? So who knows? They could test putting some extra keywords and information into this title, fill up the rest of the 145 characters they have space for, and this could be a way better title. Okay. But they do have the elements, so you know it's not the worst thing in the world. 
Next, we've done title. Let's do images. Images. So there's several different types of images we can include in a listing that make it very well optimized. Okay, so there's the main product photo, the thing that you see on the search results, right? What else is there? Main product photo. You can also do a product detail image. You can also do a packaging image. And you can also do a lifestyle photo as well. There might be a few other different types of photos you can incorporate into your listing, but these are the key ones that really make the difference. So let's have a look at what they have. Well, they definitely have the main photo. Okay, this is this the photo usually with a white background. That's what Amazon want you to have so that all of their uh, search results look nice and neat. Okay, they've got that. Great. Well done. Right. Do they have a product detail image? So what this is is basically an image where you have the product and you have loads of arrows pointing to different parts of the product explaining um, you know what's so great about that thing so they could have an arrow pointing towards this straw saying includes inbuilt straw that goes to the bottom of the bottle <clears throat> right they could have a picture with that you know arrows and text they haven't got that so they're missing a trick there because some people are going to look at this product and they're not even going to bother reading anything they're just going to look at the images and make a decision whether to buy it or not on the images so you want to catch their attention and see, you know, let them see whether they want to buy it or not with the images alone. And, and product detail photos will help you do that. Do they have a packaging photo? No. All right, there's no photo here showing off what cool packaging you have. You know, when a product's packaged really well with nice design and, you know, it looks great, it has more gift potential, it has more premium uh, potential, and it's just, it's just easier to sell. Right, it's much easier. People love great packaging. It makes a difference. So if you have it, flaunt it. Now I'm sure Thermos have great packaging for this product. They probably do. Why not have a picture with it on there? It'd be super easy to to do. You could even just mock it up with like a 3D image of the box. Okay. So they don't have that. Do they have a lifestyle photo? A lifestyle photo is where you using the product and, and you illustrate to the customer how this product is going to fit into their life and make their life better somehow usually in a very minor way but still we buy stuff to make our lives better don't we really in some way whether it's easier doing things faster having more convenience looking more stylish whatever it is we're buying stuff to make our life better if you can have an image of somebody whose life has been improved somehow by using a product, then it makes it easier to, to, to buy. You go, yeah, okay, I can see how that would fit into my life. I'll buy it. No such thing on this photo. We've just got the product on a white background. All right. So not really, the images aren't really doing that much for us. So they haven't done too well with the images. Let's have a look at the bullets. Let's have a look at the bullets. How well are the bullets performing? So they have five bullets here. Okay, so at least they've used up every single bullet you can, right? You know, you can't do any more than that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Very, very, very short, these bullets. Very, very, very short. And they don't really go into too much detail about the benefits. Let me change my color here. Don't go into that much detail about the benefits. Here we go. They also don't use headlines. I really like using a all caps headline at the start of each bullet to give you like a preview about what the bullet's going to include. See if I can show you an example of a, a listing that does this. This listing doesn't, unfortunately. A lot of the big successful you know, private label seller accounts do this on all their listings, right? Uh, let's have a look at this. 
listing. So this looks like it might be a private label product. Uh, they haven't done it, unfortunately. But basically what it will be is be the first few words would be in capital letters. You may have seen this before. I call this like a bullet headline. Okay, They haven't done this and they haven't included much information there. So the bullets are weak. They're very, very weak. Like It's like, yeah, it's got an integrated carry loop. What you have to do when you're writing listings is ask yourself, you know, what happens if the customer says, so what? What happens if the customer says, so what? You should look at your listing or any copy that you have on any of your businesses and you should ask yourself, so what? At every available opportunity. And if the answer, if the question isn't answered, then you've got a problem. So here, for example, it's got an integrated carry loop. So what? So it's easier to transport. So you can clip it to your bag, right? So you can hold it more easily. Maybe there's some way you can attach it to your bike. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the point of that loop really is. If they could elaborate on that, it would make it a much more attractive product, right? Because people would know why it has the loop. You know, they've obviously engineered this thing and designed it themselves. It's obviously a reason they did that. Why not explain why? All right, it makes the product way more attractive. Uh, one of their bullets is dishwasher safe. Well, that's great. Yeah, cool. It's not really a big selling point, is it, being dishwasher safe? Or it might be, but then break it down. Why is it dishwasher safe? What material has it been used to make it dishwasher safe? How many times can we use it in the dishwasher? All right? This is what the bullets are for. It's like little snapshots of benefits your product has and and breaking down the benefits of the benefits as well. You know, um, the, the for example, the carry loop. The benefit of the carry loop is it's easy to carry. Benefit of the benefit is that now you won't lose the bottle. All right, so they could have said something like that. So the bullets here are very weak, very, very bad. Okay. Let's have a look. So they, they haven't really put in too many benefits. They've just used features, right? The shiny things about the product, but not the benefit as in the, the stuff you get from those shiny things. And they haven't used headlines either. Let's have a look at the description. So what I love to see in a description is a few things. I love to see a paragraph where you really take the time to paint a picture in the customer's mind about how the product is gonna benefit their life. That's what you want to see in a, in, a, in a description. Customers do this anyway, right? They, they ask themselves, can I really see myself using this bottle every day? Would I bring this with me to the gym? All right? Would I take this to work with me? Is this the, the best design bottle out there? Does this fit with my style? Does this fit with my personality, this bottle, right? It sounds melodramatic, but these are the questions customers are asking a lot of the time when they buy. At least a lot of, you know, some people are. So why not help them to imagine what the product will be like by just putting a paragraph there? Explaining, you know, this bottle, uh, uh, for example, you, you think about the pain point. Have you ever been dehydrated on a long journey? Do you know the feeling of having to stand in a hot, underground carriage of a, a tube or, or an underground train not having access to any water knowing that you're going to be dying of thirst for the next 10 minutes until you can get out and go into the shop and buy another expensive um, non-eco-friendly water bottle right this ergonomic water bottle with carry loop will be the perfect uh, solution to this problem never be caught out again being dehydrated uh, blah 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 blah. okay so painting a picture of how this uh, product will help in a situation like that it could even include a paragraph about the um, detrimental effects of being hydrated on the brain There's something I read some fascinating study about how if you're like 10% dehydrated um, your ability to focus drops by like 50%. Something dramatic like that. Like it's, it's crazy how much being dehydrated actually affects 
um, your productivity. Why not put something like that in the description? Well, the actual description area is very weak, right? They're trying to rely on their A plus content to make up for it. Even if you have this A plus content stuff, like it's no excuse. You can still make the product description very, very, very good, right? You know, you really, you really can um, elaborate here because on on mobiles, quite often this this is what people read, um, and, and it's space to be used. So why not use it? So all they've put really, nothing is more vital, staying healthy and fit and proper hydration. Okay, so that's that's good. They touched on it. Thermos hydration bottles make it easy to stay hydrated throughout the day. Made of BPA-free materials, reusable and built to last. They could have included so many more details. Like what? Uh, what was the thought process behind the the shape of the bottle? What's the point of the straw? Um, what plastic is it made from? Why is it safe? How does this benefit the environment through not using single-use water bottles? You know, there's so many things they could have added here uh, in in the description. The A plus content is okay. They've put a bit about their brand, which is people are interested in, but they don't care that much, really. Care more about the actual product generally. Um, so they've gone a bit more detail here in the A plus content about how it's you know attachable to bags. So that's cool. They've hit on some of these benefits: foldable straw, etc., etc., etc. But they could have done a few other things. One, one thing I love to see in the description is a call to action, right? So this is where you basically say to your customer, buy my product, buy my product, right? You can do it in a slightly more elegant way. You can say, um, you know, uh, solve your dehydration problems by adding this product to your cart today at the bottom of the description. Nice little call to action. And you'll be surprised how much this stuff actually bumps up sales. Uh, when you just tell people to buy things, like it's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but in a way, we kind of like being told what to do. Uh, in, in a way, it's kind of like when you go to the doctor and they say, you know, take uh, here's the the prescription for you. Take five of these daily, right? You're being told what to do. It feels kind of ah, I'm being taken care of. It's that similar kind of psychology actually works really, really well on a product listing or a sales page or any time you want someone to do something for you uh, within your business. So they've, they've done neither of those things, All right? Neither of those things. Another thing you can add is like more detailed bullets. You can go into so much more detail in the description. You have so much, so much room to do that. Um, you know, they've done a little bit of it. They've broken down uh, the, the straw and the loop and the ergonomic stuff. But really, they, they could have done that in the bullets here. And then they could have gone into way more detail in the A plus content and the description. I honestly think if they did all these things, they would they would make more sales. They could even double their, their revenues with this product alone. On Amazon UK who knows so that's my uh, product teardown for today the thermos uh, hydration bottle with straw I'm gonna give this listing a 5 out of 10 I'd say it's about halfway done we could definitely optimize it uh, way more so if you have a listing that you want me to tear down and try and improve uh, if you have any other um, things you want me to make a video about, put a comment below. I'll definitely take a look. And I can't wait to see you next week uh, on the next video. All right. Cheers for watching. And make sure you subscribe, by the way. More content coming up. We'll speak very soon.